Welcome to the Fire Connect show. This is Marta Rasso, your host. And today we're at KCAA Radio Network. I am so excited to be here with you. We are going to talk about a very important topic for business owners, business growth. I mean, everyone thinks about business growth and what does it mean? How do you get to grow your business? Today, along with my special guest, Avelo Roy, we're going to talk more about what business growth is, what you should do as a business owner to grow your business, and how can you get help to get there? So let me tell you more about our special guest. So Avelo Roy is Managing Director at Kolkata Ventures. He is an amazing person. He has helped over 1,800 startup companies, not just in the US, all over the world, India, Canada. He has helped these companies start up from zero and build multi-million dollar companies. I am so excited to have him here. He has built eight businesses of his own in the U.S. and India with multi-million dollars worth of products and services ranging from customer electronics, artificial intelligence systems, healthcare. This guy is a genius. So hearing him talk and me about business growth is the value and asset you need. So let's get started. I first want to tell you how I met Avelo. I met him at Illinois Institute of Technology when I was getting my master's degree in mathematics. And I saw him one day and we started talking. And I'm like, wow, this guy is in college and he's so smart. He's so wise. He was ahead of his game and of his time. So when I had to sit down and, and have someone be my guest, I thought Avelo. Avelo has to be the person that initiates this conversation about business growth. Everyone in the world has to hear him. So now that you're here, thank you so much for coming, Avelo. Thank you, Marta. So, you are such a sweetheart. Thank you for such a wonderful and warm introduction. Hello from India. <laughs> and hello from cold Chicago. So I have a few questions. My first one is business owners really don't know what business growth is. How does that look like? Like look like? And what is important? What does business growth mean? Let's start there. What does it mean to you? See, it's it's all about numbers. It's about revenue. Uh, but it's also about people in the in the business. The business is nothing without its, its people. So as we are growing, we grow with our skills. We grow with our capabilities. We grow with our features, how we serve the customer better every single day. And when we do all of those things, we also grow our revenue. And eventually, we also grow our profits. I mean, not always revenue, more revenue means more profit. The cost could be exponentially growing as well. But uh, the whole point is to make things efficient, understand what customers want, what they're willing to pay for, and how best we can solve it fastest cheapest and in the most efficient way without compromising with quality. Thank you so much. I am in agreement with, with that. And let's discuss more about how you help companies. I mean, just walk us through an example of what do you feel is a problem that's keeping companies from achieving business growth? What is that main thing that's keeping them away? Sure, there are two kinds of people. See the entrepreneurs, they have the either right brain or left brain. The left brain folks are very good with analytics, numbers, technology, coding, you name it. But they have very little idea on how to sell, how to market, how to build a brand, how to build relationships, right? And then there are the right brain people who are very good with the human aspect of things, selling, marketing, but they're not necessarily the people who can build the products and services. So that's where it's kind of the, what I call the Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak combination comes in. Steve Jobs is the guy who knows how to speak on stage, get people excited, recruit the right people. It's all about psychology, marketing, design. He is a guy who sees the future. Steve Wozniak is the guy who built Apple, but he didn't want anybody to see him. He likes to be inside his little cubicle building, you know, products and services and software, right? So that's Steve Wozniak. So that's the kind of, you know, partner you should have. If you're Steve Wozniak, you need a Steve Jobs. If you're Steve Jobs, you need a Steve Wozniak. By which I mean to say, People don't grow because they don't understand marketing and sales. They don't understand what people want and how to tell them the benefit. It's not like, please take my product. Give me your money. You don't beg. 
That's not selling. Selling means educating people, right? When Steve Jobs launched the iPod and he says, thousand songs in your pocket. At the same time, there was Zune. There was all these MP3 players that were like 250 MB, 500 MB. Nobody knew what that meant. And Steve Jobs said, thousand songs in your pocket. People are like, I get that. Whoa, thousand songs in that tiny device. That's amazing. Everybody else was also giving the same space. But Steve Jobs knew how to talk to people and tell them, here is the benefit in the language that you understand it. And here is what it costs. Take it now, right? So most people don't have that skill and that's why they struggle. They go to a certain point, they get stuck and they don't know how to break that barrier. And that's where we come in, you know, where we help them grow. We see what they have and what they lack, right? A founder who's right brain lacks the left brain side of things. So we help them build the team first. And if they, it's the other way around, then we have them build the other side of the team. Then we have them focus. There's too many things people like to do. I want this and this and that. So we have them focus on what is one thing, one target market, one problem that you can solve better than anybody else in your competition. And we have them focus, narrow down because resources are limited. If you try to do too many things, you don't have unlimited resources, you have limited resources. So you'll get you know, pulled in, in multiple directions and you'll be stretched thin. So you'll be average in everything. But if you focus all your resources, effort, time, everything in one direction, then what happens is you give your 100%, you can focus, you can grow and you can measure your success. So measuring is another thing about growing that the amount of input going in and the amount of output coming out, the return on investment, how much more efficient am I getting month on month, year on year? Right. So building the infrastructure, the team and going, you know, focusing on the problem, on the market segment, on the solution where you can be the best compared to your competitors and then measuring your success and then, you know, keep having higher and higher targets and keep growing from there on. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes a lot of sense. You see, guys, this is why this is the expert at growing startup companies. And let me add on to what you said, Avelo, because in my company, we focus on data-driven business solutions and it touched very similar aspects. People seem to get stuck. And, and my perspective is that business owners are doing so much, so many tasks that they don't, they forget to look at things like the, at their weaknesses or things that they're forgetting or blind about. And one of these will be their finances, their business data. So they're stuck here, but in order to get to the next level, they need to look at data to drive their business forward, along with looking at these aspects that they're weak on. So that's why they need people like myself, data-driven to grow their business and like yourself to get out of the unstuck from a financial data uh, perspective to a cognitive perspective. I've never thought about it being right and left brain. So I have to figure out what brain I am. So we'll talk about that after this. So guys, this is what we gave you. Let me, we've talked to you about what is business growth. We've also touched what's keeping companies out behind and, and stuck and not accomplishing this business growth. It is, like Avello said, it's our right and left brains. We're lacking some of some the thing that we don't even know. And also we don't have the time to look at our numbers and data and look at these metrics to be able to go to the next level in our companies. On our next, when we come back from this little commercial, we want to touch base and give you some case studies of what Avelo has done for his customers to scale them up and what I've done using data-driven solutions with Solix to make sure that these companies grow their businesses. And some of these ideas you can take to your business and your team to grow them. So let's take a little break and we'll see you back. Business growth, guys, let's make it happen. <laughs> 